Another 12 p.m. Eastern time kick. Pitt goes to Atlanta to face off against Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech, of course, had a monster, monster game against North Carolina, and now they are a three-point home dog to Pitt. Now, the total sits at 58.5. Of course, lines brought to you by BetUS. But, uh, man, so my initial line on this was actually Georgia Tech minus three. And I thought, man, I got six points of value. And then I started diving into the numbers, and what Georgia Tech is best at is stopping the run. They are susceptible to the pass. Well, Pitt does not run the ball. Like, this is not a usual Pat Narduzzi offense. Um, I don't know... Pitt on the road is always really, really good. I think they're like 8-3 and three against the spread in their last 11 on the road. Like, Pitt always does well under Narduzzi. And, man, Kenny Pickett, like, he's been around forever. He has seen this Georgia Tech team from the time that they were triple option all the way up till now. Like, he knows what this team is. I think I'm going to ride with Pitt. Like, I, I think everybody and their mother is on Georgia Tech because of how well they played against North Carolina. I don't think you're going to be able to get the same pressure on Pickett. And I don't think you're going to be able to stop the pass as well. North Carolina used the run to set up the pass, and they couldn't do it against Georgia Tech. In this situation, like Pitt don't even worry with the run. Like They're just going to throw the ball all over the yard. I'll take Pitt. Yeah, this is, this is the right answer, by the way. You take – when somebody has done something that you just cannot believe really happened, okay, the week before, you bet against that the following week. You just do. I didn't care what you what number you came out of your mouth. I said Pitt because after what we saw Georgia Tech do to the rest of the country, who thinks North Carolina is a good football team, who North Carolina just beat the hell out of Virginia. They dropped almost sixty on them, fifty nine points on Virginia, and then they get into Georgia Tech and they get their ass beat. Okay, listen, this is exactly how this thing goes. Now Georgia Tech, everybody thinks, wow, they just beat the hell out of out of North Carolina. They got to be good right now. They're still not. They're still not a great football team, guys. They're still not. I just don't believe they're a good football team right now. They're a yo-yo, okay? And what do yo-yos do? They go down after they come up. Yeah, that's that's not a, a bad metaphor at all. Until they can do this three weeks in a row against three comparable opponents, then I will start giving them credit, but I've never seen it. I've never with my eyes seen it. Last year, we saw them beat Florida State, and then we thought, Man, this team might be real good. And then we realized Florida State might be one of the worst teams in the country. They were ranked in the 90s about everything, okay? And and, and then Georgia Tech was exactly who we thought they were. Not very good at football. Yeah. Well, there's a world where North Carolina finishes with four or five balls. Okay? Yeah. And nobody yeah. thought that was possible before the season started. Well, hell, we hadn't even gotten October and they already got two. So. Yeah, I, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, at EPA per play for passing defense, and and Georgia Tech just didn't real good. Like they they're not very good on it. They are number 46 in the country now. They're number seven against the run, but that doesn't do you any favors when uh, you can't like when the other team doesn't run the ball. And on offense, Georgia Tech's still not great. Uh, number 99 in EPA per play offense. Like I'll, I'll take Pitt. Like the number looked wrong to me, but. Maybe maybe it's right. So with this, it, it's kind of like the uh, the UTSA it, game last week. I didn't. I did not. Care, I did not care what the number was. Yeah. I just said this is this is just not right. This no, one, I, I saw this one team play so much above their level of football, and that's fine. They got up for that game, and that's awesome. Congratulations to them. Show me you can do it two weeks in a row. You can take my money. I'll lose. That's fine. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.